How's it going YouTube? Dick Nobuck back with another video here on the HSR. If you're new, welcome. We ranch out of Northwest Kansas. Um, what I'm going to do now is going to go check the cows. I was going to post a video on Monday, but the sound was all jacked up. And so I was like, ah, you guys can't even understand me. I didn't even post it. So, um, but Monday we tagged a couple calves. Um, today we about the same thing. Hopefully we have a few calves to tag. Um, and then we got to feed a bale of hay. We'll unroll a bale of sedan for these cows to kind of just prolong this grass a little bit longer. We've been doing it about every two to three days. Um, and then we'll see what else we can get into. So I don't have the bale on the back right now because I'm going to make sure I want to drive in the pasture, make sure everybody's good before I do that. And if we have any problems, I don't really want the bale on it. So let's go check for new calves. We'll go home, um, get that bale and feed it. So. So here's a new pair I tagged yesterday, little 50, little bull calf. They seem to be doing good. She has one tit that doesn't look sucked down, but uh, the other three do, so I think she's gonna be fine. First initial thought, I'm not seeing anybody off by themselves, but uh, that doesn't mean we don't have a calf. So let's keep driving around. There's a few cows up here at water. We just gave a mineral. We use a Redmond uh, mineral mix. We Came, came to like it um, I think the cows do good on it you know with the grass turning brown there's a little bit of green grass left they're not getting those vitamins and minerals from the grass so we're needing to supplement them with that um, free choice salt and mineral mix so they're really taken to it they like it we've been this will be year two of us trying it out and so uh, nothing but good things to say so far let's see how everybody's looking last night was the very first freeze this winter, fall, so to speak. Let's make sure all the calves and cows look good. Got a pile of them in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's a few more. 66. She has not had a calf yet, but she's getting close. Well, maybe not. She looks fat though. They're old 26 down there in the grass. Here was the other new calf yesterday, 54. Her mom's over there. Sorry, I should say his mom. Um, so currently up to, we're up to 14 bull calves and nine heifers. So we're a little bull dominant so far, which is a-okay. Um, we're just kind of cope that they, we keep getting them. Um, I've said this before in a lot of videos, a bull calf or a steer calf, which will make them steers eventually when we cut them and work them, their first round of vaccine. Something's in my eye. Um, they're worth probably 100 to $150 more uh, per head just for being a steer, just because they gain better. And so, you know, most times it's right at 50-50 or dang close, but uh, hey, we're up five. Okay guys, I don't think we have any new ones, so we're gonna head back to the house, which I'm actually gonna run to town, get a few things, and then I'll go to the house and grab the bale. So, be about an hour and a half for me, but a second for you guys. guys we got the bail on let's get her head to do the pasture
bunch of little rascals running around. Everyone's all jacked up for me unrolling that hay. All the cows are mooing and running to me. So what I want to do now is just drive through since we're here again. It's actually about four hours later. Went and had supper, lunch with the girls. Um, had to run to town and get those cards. So that's all right. Let's look at these cows over here and uh, see if there's anybody new. Take a look at everybody eating. We should be good to go. Okay, guys, here's the girls. Like I said, I'm really just feeding this sedan. Um, it's a year old feed. It wasn't the best stuff anyways. Um, but just as the grass starting to turn brown, it's already almost brown. There's a little green left in there for them. Um, just to kind of prolong the process of moving them to winter pasture. There's still some grass here that they can chew on. And so that's what we're kind of waiting on is maybe try to hold out two more weeks. There's a big old bull calf that was born in August. And there's another one two studs but anyways there's a lot of leaves in there it's still pretty green from last year there's the bales have unrolled so far they're just not really eating the stalks which is understandable kind of just eat the good stuff leave it and they'll just go pick around in the grass looking for some better grass all right y'all since it's so windy outside it's windy kind of chilly not a whole lot i can get done here at the ranch really just kind of maintain stuff chickens cows everything and everything so one thing I started yesterday was I started cleaning up the machine shed I put some shelves up um, hung up ramps and some ladders just to kind of get this place looking a little nicer so I think that's what I'm gonna do now but I'm sure you guys don't really want to watch me do that so what I'll probably do is I'm gonna um, throw in some of the video from the day before and I'll let you guys show me. I'll, I'll show you guys that. I mean, it was me tagging a couple, couple calves. So we'll throw that in there. I think the video and sound is decent on it. So I'll throw that in here. Um, but anyways, guys, I'll catch you guys two days ago. But I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Peace. We're having calves. We actually, this is a new calf right here. So I'm going to go ahead and get a tag made. I don't know why that big old bull's riding her, but uh, I'm going to get that tag made and uh, get her tag and get that bull, that little bull calf away from her. Um, I do know we have at least two now. So we'll get this one tagged and then we'll get another one tagged. Last little bull calf, but as you guys can see, we're getting all sorts of colors here. They're all bred. Black Angus bred to a Charlay, so I thought we'd have more white like this with a black nose, but we're kind of getting a lot of colored up calves, so I like it. I like it a lot. I like a little bit of color. So let's go see if we can find any more calves here. I know the one calf I need to tag for sure is number 63, which I think is she's up there on the hill and uh, then we should be good. Let me show you this little 83 calf. This is my favorite calf so far. Look at that little heifer. I think she is cute. And like I said, Black Angus bred to Charlay, got that red. It's crazy. Well, that went surprisingly good. 63 was the mom that I had written down from last year that I made a mental note of and that I actually wrote down on our calf tagging book that she was mean. Um, I remember she, we didn't, I couldn't even get her calf tagged last year um, because she was trying to get in my business. But it actually went surprisingly smooth um, that go around. So both those calves were bulls, which is perfect. Um, we're up to 12 bull calves and 
let's see, 12 bull calves and nine heifers. So we're a little bull, bull heavy, which is good. They're gonna bring about a $110 more at the sale barn. So hopefully, hey, who knows? Maybe the next 12 will all be bulls and be good to go. Anyways, I drive up here. There's about four or five cows up here. Just gonna look at their calves. Um, I know one for sure already has a tag. Looks like two. So uh, we'll just take a ponder at them real quick. Well, everybody's tagged that I can see. For some reason, I thought she hadn't calved yet, but she has. So, anyways, looks like just two new ones, which basically one new one from last night and one from yesterday. Um, everybody else looks healthy. That calf from two days ago has, has got yellowy scour poop. I think it's just milk scours. Um, so we'll just see if it clears up. We'll just keep an eye on it. You know, that last calf that had it, I ended up taking it back to my house, gave it two rounds of electrolytes, brought it back to its mom um, 18 hours later, and it cleared up instantly. So we might have to do that, um, but we'll just kind of play it by ear. The calf looked like it was up, walking around fine, didn't look, didn't have his ears down, um, like it was sick or anything like that. So I think we should be in good shape there. See if I can't get you guys a video of these three calves right here. Pretty good looking calves. I was thinking 73. I don't know why I didn't have it in my notebook. I had it, but I missed it. There was two calves where she ran up to, and I was like, oh, maybe she had twins, but no, that's not the case. Anyways, couple calves there. They're looking really good. I'm last year we didn't have we had two calves at this time last year because our these cows calve so late as of october 17th i believe they had we had only had two calves because the neighbor's bull got in two or three i cannot remember i think it's i think it was two um but now it's october 16th so, sorry october 14th and we have 21 calves on the ground so that's gonna help us at the end of the day um from last year just with adding more pounds when we go to sell them in around June-ish, but also they're gonna be a lot bigger and healthier, hopefully, by the time, you know, winter approaches and the wind st winter storms and stuff like that, um, just kind of help them be a little bit bigger to be able to handle that a little better.